Hello again and welcome back to Operations Management. We are in Capacity Analysis and working on that supplementary problem, number two, and this is our last part. As you recall from the previous uh, parts, we were working with the Amazing Shed Company that produces three different kinds of sheds, the basic, the superior, and the premium. Each of the sheds uses the same resources, fabrication teams, assembly teams, paint teams, and inspection teams. The profit per shed is $190 for a basic, $220 for a superior, and $230 for a premium. Given their current resources, which shed is most profitable? We're going to head back to the original information for the problem where we found out what the unit loads were for each of the different types of sheds and the number of teams available and the number of available hours per day per team. So as you can see here, each of the different sheds has different unit loads for fabrication, assembly, paint, and inspection. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the total number of sheds that can be made of each type, assuming that that's the only kind of shed we make. So let's start with the basic shed. The unit load for a basic shed and fabrication is two hours. Assembly is three, paint one, inspection one and a half. Now, using the number of teams available per day and the number of hours available per team, we calculate the amount of time available for each resource. So in fabrication, we have 28 hours, assembly 22 and a half, paint 14, and inspection 12. So now we know how much time we have and the amount of time needed, which is the unit load, gives us our capacity per day. 28 hours available, two needed for fabrication. So in the fabrication area, we could produce 14 sheds. So now we're gonna take a look at assembly, which is seven and a half, paint 14, and inspection eight. So when we're going to calculate the profit just on basic sheds, we would take the maximum number of sheds that we can produce, which in this case is seven and a half because our bottleneck is the assembly resource. And then we're going to multiply that seven and a half by the $190 that we would earn as profit. So that gives us 1425. Now we're going to take a look at the superior shed and we do the same set of calculations. Now we're using the unit loads just for superior sheds. We still have 28 hours available per day in fabrication, 22 and a half in assembly, 14 in paint, 12 in inspection. But now our capacity per day is different because our unit load is different. So we have 28 hours available in a day divided by two and a half hours needed in fabrication, yielding 11.2 sheds. If we do that for each of the resource pools, fabrication, assembly, paint, and inspection, we see that the bottleneck remains in assembly, and this time we only have 6.43 sheds that we could produce. Since that's the maximum number, we're going to multiply that by the $220 profit we would get per superior shed, which yields $1,414. So now let's look at the premium shed. With the premium shed, the unit load again changes, and our available time per day stays the same, so our capacity per day is now different. Now in fabrication, it's 11.2 sheds, assembly 5.92, paint 11.2, and inspection eight. So our bottleneck happens to still be assembly, and we can only produce 5.92 sheds. So if that is the maximum number of sheds, that means we multiply that by the profit per shed of $230, yielding $1,362. Now when we compare all three profits, which shed is most profitable? Well, in this case, it's the basic shed. Even though it is the lowest priced shed, or the one that gives us the least amount of profit, $190, we cannot produce 
many of the premium sheds at so that yields only 1362 so we can produce a lot of basic sheds but not a lot of superior or premium sheds so our overall profitability is keyed on basic sheds so when we think about profit and capacity analysis we have to think about not only how much are we earning per item but also how many of that item we can produce. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in another session.